Visiting fashion trade shows can be exhausting and overwhelming, even to the more experienced fashion entrepreneurs. So in this video, I'll give you some tips how to beat the overwhelm, how to prepare so that you don't get overwhelmed and you have a great experience. Before we get started, make sure you subscribe to our channel. And if you're on YouTube, click on the little bell below. That way you'll be notified when we release new videos just like this one. Hey there, my name is Desi and I'm the founder of Fashion Insiders & Co, the online platform for fashion entrepreneurs looking to grow and scale businesses their way. Now, tip number one is to have a goal, to be very clear on what is it that you're looking to achieve by going to the trade show. The trade shows are so big, they can not only be overwhelming, but you can even get lost in them. You can get easily tired, from the buzz of people, of everything that's going on, from the lighting, uh, sometimes it's even hot and stuffy. So being organized and really knowing what the goal of this visit is, is really important in order for you to plan your day most effectively and tick off all the tasks that you've assigned yourself to achieve during that trade show. For many people, going to a trade show is not within their locality. You would have to catch a plane or a train to visit. So really maximizing your time and making the best out of the time you have at that trade show and all the people that are there just for the one, two or three days of the duration of the show is really important. So be clear on your goal. Be clear on what is it that you want to walk away with uh, and be satisfied that it was a worthwhile visit. Uh, to go to the trade show and you have achieved everything you set out what you wanted. Tip number two is once you're clear on what you want to achieve, make a list of all the information that you need to be asking your suppliers or the people you will be visiting. So if you're sourcing raw materials like fabrics or leather or even trims, Make a list somewhere of all the questions that you need to ask the supplier. Now, those questions can vary from leather to fabric to, for trims. There might be different things that you need to ask them. And that is why it is really important that you note down uh, on a piece of paper or on your phone in the notes app. Uh, what are the questions and the information that you need to find out when you speak to a supplier? In this way, you will ensure that nothing gets forgotten because once you walk away, and you have forgotten to ask a question, you might not find the availability of the supplier again. He might be really busy with other clients. You might not uh, even remember during the show to ask these questions and then sending emails, they might not get answered. For the first few days after a show, the supplier is extremely busy processing uh, the information, the orders, um, regrouping after the event. So it is important that while you're at the show, you ask and gather all the information necessary for you and for you to be able to take the next step. Tip number three is to try to pre-plan your meetings. If you know in advance who you want to meet, if you're already in business and you work regularly with suppliers, do let them know that you're visiting the trade show. Try to book an appointment with them so that you're not uh, caught standing at a stand and waiting for them to finish talking to someone else who perhaps is without an appointment and, um, and waste your time because the time passes so quickly and there's so much to see. And uh, like I said, you can get distracted, you can get lost, you can bump into people. So really having the focus and the meetings scheduled, the ones that are really must-dos, for uh, the duration of your visit is really important to do. So book uh, an appointment with your suppliers, whether they're existing or whether they're new. If you definitely want to meet someone, you know you want to work or find out more information from a particular brand. And if you scan the directory before you go to the trade show and see that they would be exhibiting there, call them up, make an appointment, find out who would be at the stand uh, and pre-plan your visit so that again, you maximize your time there. Tip number four is to be organized. Now, at shows like this, usually what happens is that you go from stand to stand and you gather swatches, you gather information for the questions that you would go prepared with. So it's really important that you are prepared. You have a notebook where you're going to staple all the swatches that you're going to get given by the suppliers you speak to. Therefore, it's really important that uh, you bring your own stapler. Perhaps you can buy a little staple that uh, you can put in your bag. It's a lot more convenient than having to scramble and uh, see and, and rely that the stand has a staple. In this way, you would always know which swatch was from which supplier. Uh, it is also good to have a pair of scissors because, again, it might be easier if you're allowed to take your own cutting rather than, again, wait on someone else's scissors. Do they have a scissors or not, etc. So be really well equipped and prepared with everything that you would need. So staples, scissors, 
pens and pencils to write with, a notebook to, onto which to write the information and staple the set samples and everything else you gather. Uh, perhaps there might be some other leaflets, etc. So you want to gather everything and staple it to that one page relating to that supply so that you're not uh, looking for it later on. You would also need to have your business cards. Every stand and every supplier you speak to would want to know who you are. They would want to have your business card because they would do exactly like you would be doing. They would take your business card and they would staple it to their order form and they would take notes on the samples you're interested in or the samples perhaps you will be ordering on the stand or even the conversation that you might have so that they can follow up with you. So being organized and carrying those essentials really is vitally important for the success of your show and also for the post experience of visiting the trade show because that is when when you sit down and you start sifting through everything that you have gathered during this one to three days of visiting the show you start then making your choices you start pulling aside the things that are really interesting maybe for the future to the things that are really interesting for right now for what you have in mind to do and because during the trade show, you would be visiting so many stands and every stand has booklets and swatches, etc., it is really a good idea to have a big and comfortable to carry bag where you can put all of these things. And be warned, these bags can get really heavy. So some, some people you would even see having a really little suitcases. So be prepared. Uh, the everything that you would accumulate uh, while you're walking and watching the stands in terms of swatch cards and booklets and uh, samples, etc., can become rather cumbersome and a lot, and it can be quite heavy to carry around. So do have a big and comfortable bag that you can easily carry around with. Finally, the last tip, tip number five of this video, is that while you're at the show, you really need to um, make sure that you get the most out of the show. So while you're at the show, try to talk to as many people as possible. Uh, people that are suppliers, people that are perhaps, you know, from other companies that you might meet at the stands or while you're in the queue for a coffee or lunch. Talk and network as much as possible. Don't be shy to ask for samples. That's what the suppliers are there for. They are there to meet you, the fashion entrepreneur, the fashion designer, looking to turn ideas into new products. So giving samples is one of the purposes of this show so don't be shy to ask for samples but don't also forget to document what this sample is it's pointless to accumulate samples if you then forget to write the information of where did you get them from what are they about how much are they etc. and finally these shows they're not small most of these shows they are big and getting even bigger there's a lot of walking between the different rooms and areas and zones of exhibitors. So wear comfortable shoes and wear lots of layers of clothes that you can take off as you get hot or if you get cold, you can put them back on. So comfortable shoes and layers is really essential for your comfort. So that's it. These are the tips for visiting trade shows that would, if you follow them, would ensure that the overwhelm of visiting trade shows will be managed. You will not be as exhausted and taken by surprise by the atmosphere of the event. And if you need more information about trade shows, uh, where you can find trade shows around the world or close to you, uh, as well as more tips and advice on how to manage um, trade shows and how to exhibit or how to visit, do visit our website. It is www.fashioninsiders.co. And if you enjoyed this video, leave a comment below. If you're on YouTube, click and subscribe to our channel, like and share it. That would really help more people like yourself to re find our channel and gain valuable knowledge. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.